Hi everybody, my name is Aaron Blaze, and first of all, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial that I gave you uh, on how to draw bears. Um, you know, I have a background of drawing animals. I've been drawing animals all my life. Matter of fact, I spent 21 years working for the Walt Disney Company where I animated a whole bunch of animals. I worked on The Lion King and Beauty and the Beast, and I directed a movie called Brother Bear, which brings us to uh, us drawing bears today. I've drawn a lot of bears in my life. And so on top of the lessons that I've given you guys inside the magazine, I'd also like to give you a little drawing lesson right here in person. So without talking too much more, why don't we just get right into it. So today I'm going to be working in charcoal. Uh, this is charcoal here. I got a charcoal pencil. I've got a nice big piece of charcoal where I can get nice big broad sweeps across the paper. And I'm also going to be using an eraser a lot. So I'll show you guys how I use that. And I'm working on paper called newsprint. It's very cheap. It's very easy to get, very inexpensive. And so you can use a lot of it and not worry about it. So the first thing I like to do when I start out drawing bears is I'm going to just start with the basic shapes, right? I like to start with the head, this round circle, and I'm going to let that head shape, I'm going to go right into the snout and think about it just kind of tapering in like so. See how that tapers right there? Now I'm going to let this shape flow right into his body. See, we have this nice flowing shape right into the body. See that? And notice how I'm keeping it very loose. Now, the thing about grizzly bears is they have these big muscular necks that feed into big muscular shoulders. And so what I'm doing here is I'm drawing those, those shoulders coming down coming into his feet down here. I'll lift this up a little bit. Coming into these feet and these big claws. Look at that. Like so. Here I'm going to I'm going to bring that body out just a bit more. And here I can draw Now I can get into doing the legs. The back legs back here, and I'm thinking about that knee right there. See that? I'm gonna throw some ears. So notice I'm keeping everything very, very loose, very quick. I don't worry about getting very detailed right now. And throw in a little nose there. And bears, just like us, they stand on their heel. So there's this heel down here, and we'll put the other foot right over here. So there's a quick, so we've roughed it in very, very quickly. You see that? Got in the shapes. I'm going to indicate the eye right here. I'm going to start to add some brows. And those cheeks. I'm going to indicate where that mouth is going to go. Now mouth, let's give him a little smile coming up like so. And then grizzly bears have all this hair kind of, it kind of comes off the, off their chin, kind of a beard comes down. There we go. Uh, muscles come in here like so. Now, one of the things I like to do, now that I've got this drawing, we can rub it down. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this charcoal, watch this. And I'm just going to rub over this whole thing. And it looks like, oh my gosh, we're going to ruin it, but we're not really. Watch, I'm just going to rub it down. This is what I love about working with charcoal and working on newsprint, like we're working on here. So we can do this. Now watch. I'm going to rub this around. Like so. Now I want to go in with my, my pencil here. I've got a fine, a fine pencil that's a little bit harder. And I can come in. And I can do details. 
And this is where I'm gonna add fur. You can see I'm adding fur in here. I get details in here in the eyes. And here I think about the eye sitting in a socket, and those cheekbones coming around. And here I can get very detailed in the nose. Remember, a, do a bear's nose looks very similar to a dog's nose. And so if you have a dog, look at your dog's nose, and they're very, very similar to a bear. I'm gonna bring that muzzle down, and we have some little, there's a little bit of a line that comes off the eye under the muzzle there. And bears have, the ten have a, a tendency to have big front lips. So we're gonna add a front lip there. And then right in this area here, this is where it starts to get kind of shaggy. A little brow for the, over the eye right there. Adding some fur textures. One thing I'm gonna do is add a little highlight right here on the eye. And here, you notice how I'm very quickly coming in and indicating the fur, but I'm not drawing tons and tons of fur. Now the other thing too is they have a, bears have a muscle that connects from behind the ear down to the base of the neck. There, see that? Now let's come in here and I'll very quickly draw in the legs. And here I am quickly drawing fur. You notice how I'm, I'm going very quickly, not laboring. Once you get that underdrawing that we did earlier, once you get that in there, then you let that be your guide. We're going to come in here and notice how I'm, I'm thinking about, one of the things I'm thinking about is this, you know, the, the under part of the, the bone structure comes in here and there's a connects right here and then the upper arm there and then the goes into the leg down there. And so I think about these areas where the, the bones are going through and where they're going to connect to muscle underneath. There we go. Now the fur on a bear on his arms, notice how this line here tends to be smooth and I've got a bunch of shaggy fur here. That's because a lot of the fur kind of goes in this direction. It goes from the inside of the arm to the outside of the arm and it gets very shaggy on the back side of the arm. And here I'm gonna draw his toes. And bears on their front feet have five toes and these big claws. So I'm gonna really quickly indicate those. Very big claws like so. There. So already, we're moving along pretty good. I'm gonna indicate a little bit more hair there. And here we go on the back end. You notice when, when as, as a line comes down and as it breaks, meaning as it changes direction, that's where I tend to put some hair. And then here on the, on the back end of his leg, he's gonna be a little shaggier. And here I wanna indicate the belly and the belly hair, that tends to be really shaggy. So I'm gonna get really shaggy in here. There we go. See there? There, we got a nice body coming together. Now I'm gonna get into these back feet and very quickly indicate these toes. Once again, thinking about five toes. You see, I drew those in there. And just having fun. I wanna draw fur. I wanna give them a little bit of personality. There. I'll draw a couple of toes there. 
toenails, claws. Let's get in here and indicate a little bit more fur. So there's our rough drawing. You know, remember, start with the head and start with those basic shapes and then you can build the anatomy right on, right on top of it all. So now, remember I was talking about our eraser earlier. Now we can take our eraser and watch this. This is where it gets really fun. We can come in and we can start pulling out highlight areas, places where we want sun to be hitting. You know, maybe we want it to be a little lighter along here and along the top of his head. So we're gonna, I'm gonna erase that out. Just like so. See, you can draw, you can draw with your eraser. It's a lot of fun. Now the snout, snout's gonna be nice and light. So I'm gonna erase away all of that pigment, the charcoal pigment. There we go. And the other thing you can do with the eraser, watch, watch what I do. I can come in here and look at this. I can create fur texture with the eraser. See there? You can do the same thing. This is a kneaded eraser. You can get it from any art store. And what's really cool about it is you can draw with it. There. So now I'm going to take my pencil and add some dark areas in here. I'm adding some shading. It's going to be dark underneath his chin. So I'm making that dark. Be a little darker up near his snout. His nose will be dark. I'm going to let that just fade right off into his snout. It's always kind of dark around the eyes on bears. So I'm going to let that get nice and dark. And I'm going to get kind of dark down in here, down underneath the neck. Get right in there. There we go. Once again, keeping those fur textures going. I want to get nice and dark back in here where there's no light getting in there. This would be dark behind the leg there, like so. I'm going to reiterate some of that fur, fur texture. Get some really deep darks in there. There we go. See, we got a nice feel of fur in there. Get nice and dark around the eyes. Really dark pupil. Let's get some darks in here. I go very quickly, see? If you don't, don't labor it, don't draw every single hair, you don't have to. You can just go kind of quickly and just create your fur texture very, very fast like I'm doing now. And it'll actually feel even better than if you draw every single hair. Because bears have clumps. Their hair falls in clumps. And so what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to draw those, those clumps of hair. There we go. Once again, this back leg, that's gonna be dark. So we'll just darken that right up. And let's hit some of these pieces of fur here a little bit more. Get a little darker in here. Because their front feet, they tend to, they tend to be kind of dark. I'm gonna leave that edge, that front edge, nice and light. And just darken that foot in there. And leave the, I'm going to leave those claws nice and white. There we go. There. 
or see there. And then here, we'll add a little bit more fur texture. And once again, I'm gonna draw around that knee. And look at there. I'll just get right in there. All by starting with simple shapes. Remember, I just started with that round, simple shape. You start, start here with that round head and let that flow right into a body like so. And then you can build, build your bear right on top. Here's the arms, legs, like so. And then that snout. Remember that body flows right into that snout. Just like so. See how quickly you can draw a bear. Get those feet in there. And there's your basic shapes. And then from there, you just add all your details right on. A bear is very, very simple once you understand the shapes. Just like so. Just a big teardrop right here, big teardrop shape. And, and then you add details like I'm doing here. There, see that? So that's how you draw a bear. Go out there, grab some paper, grab it, see if you can get some charcoal, try it with that. If you don't have charcoal, you can use regular pencil and paper, but remember, start with the simple shapes, go into the, the drawing the circle, the teardrop, and then add the legs on. And then once you get that, go ahead and add your fur and details. Have some fun. Talk to you later, bye.